on guys this is Alex here from 814 EDC and today I have a knife review coming to you guys this knife is the real steel Luna this is a knife center exclusive in this nice uh, stormtrooper as I call it configuration with the white G10 and the black blade and that is really why I got it because I'm a big Star Wars guy I love Star Wars um, and I never had experienced a slip joint before and I saw that it was going on sale and it was like 30 bucks and in pretty decent materials you know I like D2 and G10 and so I bought it I think this was back in like I want to say like September or October somewhere in that area um, so I've had this for you know a good six seven months if my math's working correctly but I think yeah around half a year and to be honest with you I don't carry it that much um, you know, it's a slip joint and I'm not a huge fan of slip joints. Um, you know, they're, they have a, they have a purpose in the knife world. They're very, you know, at the end of the day, they're a good usable knife that cuts things. Um, and I have to respect, respect slip joints for that. But at the same time, you know, I'm just a big part of owning knives and, and buying knives that I like is that they're fun to play with. I mean, that's the honest truth, and I'm sure 95% of the people that has channels and that likes knives will say that they love to play with their knives, and slip joints just don't have that fidget factor. Um, but like I said, they're at the end of the day, they're still good knives, but they're just, for me, they're just not, they're just not it for me, I guess. So, um, diving into materials, like I said, we have this nice drop point roll, minimalistic kind of style blade in D2 that you can see there it uh, that logo is a poltergeist works logo it's the designer of the knife um, and then the real steel logo there you do have kind of a fuller on both sides here that I have seen people add like little discs or something like that so you can kind of like slow roll it open you don't have to use two hands um, I never got around to doing that just because like I said I don't I don't know I don't carry the knife that often I did when I first got it but not really so much anymore um, and then we have these really nice they have a really good feel to them I think um, white g10 scales they're, very, they're textured very nicely uh, hardware is all blacked out which is nice a loop over style deep carry pot clip that I really really like um, it reminds me of like a pen clip but it's just super thin and super minimalistic and I do really really like the pot clip and it, it goes to the butt end of the knife so this thing carries very well um, spoiler alert uh, yeah and the backspacer or the the walk back whatever you want to call it the, the half stop I don't know what it's called is also black and I, I do really like the design of it I think the knife is very you know streamlined I like how it flows I like how it has this kind of uh, flat edge back here Kind of reminds me of like a Strider, how they do their back ends, I guess, but very different types of knives. But that's just kind of what it reminds me of. Um, and it does have a lanyard hole here, but I don't use lanyard holes, so. And yeah, it does have a little bit of jimping here at the bottom. You can see that, and then nothing up here at top. But this knife is very thin, um, super super thin. It's very lightweight, so. Cause there's there's no liners to it it's just the blade and then this uh whatever i don't know what you would use to describe that but cause like i said i'm not really big into slip joints so so i think that's everything for materials i don't think i'm really missing anything um next we're going to jump into action and again guys this is a slip joint so the action is just not really going to be there this requires two hands to open so you open it and you kind of get to that I would always call this like a half stop, kind of locked in there, and then you just continue open, and then you have the full knife that's locked. Not locked, but it's it's uh, stuck in there, and then when you go to close it, you also have to use, well, I can, so the proper way is probably to use two hands to close it, but I can, you know, use my thumb, knock it down to the half stop, and then close it, so. Yeah, like I said, I think they did make a thing that goes into the fuller that you can use to like thumb roll it out um, because I or that might be for the I know they do like a Luna in a liner lock so that might be for that too I'm not totally sure but I have seen Luna's with that 
like thumb disc thing on there so yeah not really much to talk about on the action I mean you get it locks in there pretty well um, I mean obviously you can still move it but you have to put a little bit of resistance behind it and then when it gets into the full uh, open area um, you know it's it's a little easy to push down um, a lot of times I guess we'll just jump right into ergos uh, ergos are really good but a lot of the times a lot of the time when I am using this um, I have to just make sure I'm not because a lot of the time I put my thumb here I just said a lot of the times like five times I apologize for that but um, I put my thumb here most of the time changing it up a little bit and you know in my normal grip and I just have to be careful that I'm not you know pushing the blade down when I'm going in to cut so that's just something that I had to kind of get used to when I was carrying it but uh, yeah ergos are very good I mean this knife is super thin like I said not really any weight to it there at all the pot clip is super um, low profile and minimalistic and not very proud of the scales um, and you do get a little bit of jipping on your where your pointer finger rests down here and it does kind of give you a little bit of grip but you're not going to be using slip joints for hard use and for really anything other than like opening some mail, opening some packages. Probably not going to be cutting too much cardboard with it. I mean, it could be. You could, but because um, the blade is, uh, I guess I forgot to mention this during my uh, materials checklist, but the blade is very thin behind the edge. Um, it's flat ground. And it, it is very thin, so this thing is a very good slicer, but just not in the slip joint application. So, yeah, but ergos are good in this grip, um, reverse grip, really draw cut, reverse draw cut, whatever this is called. But really, the main grip you're going to be using it is, is probably this or this. Um, so, yeah, ergos are good. I, I do like it. Uh, it's very comfortable in the hand, so no complaints there. Next is carry. And like I stated earlier when I was talking about the pot clip, this thing carries very, very well. The pot clip is loop over style, deep carry, goes to the butt end of the knife. Um, and I love how, you know, slim and just minimalistic, I guess I, I think is a good term for this, how it just, it looks like a pen clip and it just sinks into your pocket and you really don't know it's there. Um, like I said, I did carry this, you know, for a couple weeks after I got it here and there. Um, and that was starting jeans weather so I did wear it with jeans a lot and it, I literally didn't know it was there like it was it's so light it's just so you know small in a nice package I didn't know it was there and I, I remember I did carry it once or twice probably last month uh, to class when I had gym shorts because it's it was a good uh, knife to throw in there and you know it, it did very well with that um, I didn't really know it was there with gym shorts so and I guess that's one application where I could see slip joints like these types of slip joints or even different kinds I guess you could say I'm not really sure what other um, like I know Benchmade is it the proper I think that's a slip joint um, but I'm not too you know educated in the slip joint world I don't know a lot of the names I don't know a lot about them but uh, they are very tend to be at least for my perception of them they're very lightweight they're very slim they're very you know smaller knives so I could see that being uh, an application where you know in the summer when you're wearing gym shorts you just throw a slip joint in there so you have it with you but I don't know even then you want to get out your knife and you want to fidget with it you can't you're gonna sit there and do okay this this is fun no it's not fun so um, just me personally like I said slip joints are just not um, I get it there's a practical application for them but for me they're just not I would rather spend money on knives that I can fidget with so that leads me to my final category which is price point and like I said I did buy this for like thirty dollars free shipping I think um, and at 30 bucks, I do think this knife is worth it. You're getting, you know, a really slicey blade, a good blade shape that's very usable, 
D2, which is pretty decent for this price point. Um, really nice, you know, G10. A really cool colorway, in my opinion. Um, I really enjoy the colorway. An awesome pocket clip. Probably one of my favorite pocket clips, to be honest with you, that I've had on a knife so far. Um, and yeah, for 30 bucks, it, it's a pretty good price for that, I think. Um, I really don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I mean, I if you're looking for a slip joint and you don't want to break the bank on one because you're, you, you know, you're like me, you're just kind of, you don't know if you want to, you know, if you're going to like it or not. I think the, uh, the Luna series, they make so many colorways of them. I, I've seen probably, you know, 10 plus colorways. There's different exclusives for different uh, knife retailers out there. Um, so there's a, a very wide range of options for you to choose from with the Luna series from Real Steel. And I think they're all, you know, in that $30, $35 price range. So if you are looking to maybe check out a slip joint to see if you want it and maybe don't want to spend a ton of money on it, the Luna would be a great option for you because it is a very good configuration. And it, at the end of the day, it's a slip joint, but it's a very good slip joint. So um, I'm not upset that I bought it, um, but I am looking, you know, I wanted to get this video made because... This thing has just been sitting in my knife uh, case, you know, not really getting used much. And I am, you know, going to want to chase a few more models. So I think I'm going to try to sell this just to, you know, I'd rather go to someone that wants it and wants to, you know, use it and appreciate it more than I have just because, um, and I have appreciated it. I just haven't used it as much. So. Yeah, I hope you guys, you know, all this rambling that I've made, that I've been doing, makes sense to you. Um, but yeah, that's really all I had to say about it. Uh, this has been a review of the Real Steel Knives Luna, a Knife Center exclusive in this really nice black D2 blade and white G10 handles, aka the Star Wars or the Stormtrooper uh, Luna. So yeah, guys, I guess that's really all I have to say about it. So. I really appreciate you guys stopping in and for checking out my video and for checking out the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, drop a comment down below, you know, if you're into slip joints, if you like them, if you hate them. Um, I love talking to you guys as always. So, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.